All right, I'm on this running thing, okay? I wanna help you runners because I think that by you running, it's great for your conditioning. It's another great way to get steps. It's another great way to burn calories. And what I wanna do is help you optimize your workouts at Fit Club so that you can continue to lose the weight that you wanna lose, continue to drop that body fat, get it under 20% once and for all, and continue to build your muscle. Our goal with the muscles to get up to 40%. Now you might be asking, RJ, you just did a video and you said that running is terrible for me and that I shouldn't be running because I'm gonna lose all my muscle and lose all my gains. And it's like, no, I don't want you to stop running. I did mention that you should be using it as a cross training. Now, running, just like tennis for me, becomes an addiction. And I love that you're heavy into fitness and I think that it is great. So what I wanna do is help you to make sure that the workouts that you do at Fit Club are designed perfectly to match with this high volume of running that you might be doing right now. So number one, when it comes to your lift, focus on lifting really heavy. Okay, now here's the problem, is that me as a coach, I'm gonna see you stop early, okay? And all the other coaches are gonna see you stop early and they're gonna try and push you, right? Which is good, because in my previous videos, I mentioned that you wanna continuously push yourself and challenge the muscle to lift more, push longer, and get a bigger push out of it so that it grows, and at the very least, it's going to maintain. But what I'm gonna tell you is that if you come in and you're really sore, and you wanna still continue to see that muscle grow, then you need to lift really heavy, which really heavy to me is a rep range of anywhere from eight to 10 reps, okay? Eight to 10 reps. And the reason why is that the, the timer is pretty fast at the gym, and so it takes about you know five to 10 seconds just to get the weight up. So if you're doing a chest press, we know you gotta lay down, you gotta cock it back, lay it back, so it's gonna eat up quite a bit of your time, and that's okay because we're gonna focus on lifting heavier and getting less reps. So for instance, if you're doing the chest press and normally you do like the 30s, like that's a good weight, right? But you wanna start challenging yourself and maybe you jump up to the 40s. But to lift those 40s up, it's gonna take a little bit more time. So instead of doing you know, 12 to 15 reps with the 30s, which you're normally doing, now let's challenge that muscle to lift a little bit heavier but go less reps and get anywhere from eight to 10 reps. Now when you're lifting, you have to make sure that you're focusing on form, okay? You wanna make sure that you're breathing. So when you're pressing out, you wanna make sure that you're breathing out. And then again, try and challenge yourself to lift heavier and heavier, but staying within that rep range of eight to 10 reps. So by challenging yourself to not be focused so much on rep, 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 because you're getting lots of reps from the runs that you're doing, let's decrease the amount of reps that you're doing with your lifting, whether it be squats, lunges, sleds, bicep curls, side, whatever it is, deadlifts, doesn't matter. Focus on lifting heavier, focus on form, and then aim to get that eight to 10 reps in 30 seconds, and that's easy. So if you're doing like a deadlift, you'll do you know slower, right? So instead of like having a continuous pendulum motion like that, you're gonna just slow down and maybe take one rep for every three seconds. Because if you actually look at the clock when you're doing lighter weights, you'll see that you're probably doing anywhere from 20 to 30 reps, and you're doing about you know one every second versus this one, now you're gonna go one every three even four, maybe even five seconds, which is gonna allow you to recover faster, give you a little bit more recovery time so that you're able to lift heavier. Now, when it comes to like, like jumping, right? Obviously, if you've been doing a lot of running, the other day I seen this woman come in and she was just trying to do an alley shuffle and I looked at her and she was like, yeah, my knees. And I know she took up running. And so this is why, the reason why I make these videos because I talk to a lot of clients and you know the ones that are taking up running, they have knee problems and it's normal because it's new, right? And like if, again, if you've got extra weight on you that your body doesn't want to repetitively be, you know, you gotta understand that running is like jumping, right? Your feet are propelling off the floor, which is the same thing as jumping. It's just you're moving forward. Even if you're going slow, if your feet leave the ground, that's a form of jumping. And so when you're at the gym, you have my permission, I don't know about the other coaches, but you have my permission to swap out jumping more for like stability exercises. So when you're running, it's repetitive, right? And it's a plyometric, okay? Now when you're doing strength, it's grounded and you're building up the muscle. So what you wanna do is just try more single leg stuff, right? So single leg squat, like a single leg deadlift, a single leg calf race, you might lift lighter, but you're gonna focus more on maintaining the muscle. In fact, you're gonna focus on the stability component because 
a lot of runners actually, you know, step on uneven grounds and, you know, hurt their knees or they hurt their ankles. Now, if you have the stability component, it's going to provide tightness in and around that leg, which is going to prevent injury. So instead of jumping, focus on stability. And then, you know, see your workouts like eating a salad. So it may not be your main dish. And I know some of you love salads and you make an awesome salad, but you know what I'm saying, right? There's usually some type of meat which is your main dish, and then you have your salad as a side dish. So maintain your workouts, but instead of trying to crush yourself at every single workout, some days you might just still come in and just do a workout like you're doing a body flow, right? Like you don't necessarily have to get a massage to create blood flow to, to eliminate the metabolic waste that you create from your running or your workouts. Even if you lift light and you're moving the muscle, it's causing a pumping action, which is circulating the blood flow, which is then absorbing into your bloodstream, which is then getting eliminated out of your body. So a workout is better than no workout, even if it's a light one, as long as you're pushing yourself while you're doing your runs. So there we have it guys, three ways that you can maximize, optimize, and still get all the gains and increase your recovery while doing Fit Club workouts. Lift heavy, get those like even six to 10 reps, take your time, focus on stability exercises versus the traditional squatting, deadlifts, that kind of stuff. And then see your workouts as a supplementary thing that you're going to do that's going to get the body flushing. It's going to keep the body toned because you're still stimulating certain muscle groups that you wouldn't normally do when you're running. Continue to get those gains. You're going to enjoy summer. And at the end of the summer, you're going to be ultra, ultra fit. And you're going to be happy with that end result.